Hello, my name is Christopher Smith. I am from Galton, Mexico. I am a Native American, and the tribe I am from is Navajo. Hello, you got a Anthony Hokole and Chef, but that name is Chan, okay. Jin Bushing, a she dash chain, a Jin Dashinelle. Um hello, I'm Anthony Hola and I'm a student at NMSU. Yat A Sha A Benjamin Chi in a share, Beshwicha A initially, my industry name Bashes Chi, Dagahe Dine, A Dashinella, Ado Nakai Dine Dash A. Uh, hello, I am Benjamin Chi. I come from Australia, New Mexico. I am 22 years old. I am Deutsch and Native American. Um, hi, my name is Benjamin Chi. I am I'm from Tolina, New Mexico, which is on the reservation, the Navajo reservation. Um, I am both German and Navajo. I got a Cypress Cerro here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm from the Chiricahua Apache people, also known as Zande. I work as a landfill attendant, and on my spare time, I like to take my weapons out to the range and shoot. <sighs> okay. Hi, my name is Shannon Begay. I am from Gallup, New Mexico. I am Navajo, and I attend UNM in Albuquerque, and I major in physical education. I believe I'm a a Christ follower. I wouldn't call myself a, a Christian or a, a, I wouldn't want to label what I am as like a Baptist, a Methodist or anything like that because just churches I believe take too much out of contents of what God is, what God and Jesus are and Holy Spirit were here for and I just my opinion on churches and everything is just is that if you follow Christ and Jesus' ways and the way he taught us, um, I believe you're good. You don't have to um, categorize yourself as a Baptist, uh, like a Methodist or Reform or anything. I believe that if you believe in God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, you're good. I want to say that I'm a follower of Jesus. like. I want to say that because I've like grown up in the church and because I choose like the church and to follow Jesus, I feel like I feel like I'm a follower of Jesus. I wouldn't say I'm like the best or the greatest or anything. I just feel like I am in that like overall in life. I want to um, become a better follower. Like I feel like there's. A whole lot of aspects that I can constantly improve continuously learn more about Jesus learn more about um, the Bible everything in that like okay so I would hesitate to call myself Christian or rather the, the, the first Christian the first type of Christian that I mentioned uh, one that one who is rather concerned one who's rather close-minded in, in, in many ways I would say primarily that I believe in God and I do, and I, I believe in Christ as well. I believe in the, the Trinity. Like I, I'm very theological. I study theology, and a lot of that has really guided how I view myself and how I view other Christians and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I, like I said, I would hesitate to call myself a Christian. If, if pressed, I would say yes in order to you know like connect with somebody. And say yes, I'm a Christian. I, I believe in God and all that kind of stuff. It may look it may look different than. Um, than what most Christians think or do or believe or how they act, but I do believe that we believe in the same God in that sense. No, I, I do not follow Jesus necessarily. Um, I do have in the back of my mind uh, still a respect for him um, because of my mother. Um, and, you know, there's, there's times where I look to him, you know, and um, it's just there's a whole lot there that, um, it needs a whole lot more explaining, um, such as uh, being Native American and having a culture um, as part of you, but then you're also having a type of other culture put on you when you're a young child. Am I a Christian? I grew up in a Christian environment my whole life. My parents um, are followers of Christ.
Christ and most of my family members. I also went to a Christian school and I feel like I have been a Christian all my life. I do not say that like, oh, I'm a Christian. No, it's more like, yes, I'm a daughter of Jesus Christ kind of thing. Being a Native American and, uh, and being a Christian is, I believe, is very difficult because you can't find the, because you want to believe in traditional ways, but at the same time you want to follow Jesus and I don't know how to put those two together, but in my opinion, it's just, I, when I was at Rehoboth, I felt I was too native for the people there. And then when I was exposed to the reservation schools, I was too white for those kids over there. So it's just, it's just in my opinion, it's just, it's hard to define, can you be a Christ, native and a Christian? I think there is a stigma that a lot of native practices are pagan, and I believe that is incredibly false. <laughs> um, I, uh, God is, is revealed in many different ways, and that is not only in the Christian, Judeo-Christian, Western way of you know the Bible and all that kind of stuff. It's it's revealed through nature. It's revealed through through songs, through through creation and all that kind of stuff. I believe natives have a really strong sense of creation and kind of nature and all that kind of stuff. So I believe God speaks to them that way, so in that way we, although have different practices, we believe in the same thing so that we can get along rather than try to be one or the other. I believe you can be Native and Christian, but uh, when people come to the question of can I be a Native uh, traditionalist and a Christian at the same time, it's a very uh, debated uh, topic, uh, I think, because... Um, when people come down to it, can you really be traditional when you're into a type of uh, Christianity or Bible that was not here um, as far as your ancestors believing in a certain way? Um, does that make you traditional? I, to me, I think um, traditional is keeping to your own ways and to the old ways to your ancestors. Can you be Native and Christian? What do you mean by that? Like, because I'm a Native American and I'm a Christian. So, like I said, I I didn't grow I I didn't grow up traditionally. Um, but but it's true. I'm a Native and a Christian. So, yeah. Native people are today rediscovering who they are as Indigenous people. And for followers of Jesus, we are discovering, too, that to follow Jesus in no way puts you at odds with being Native. So when I come to faith in Jesus, Jesus does not ask me to abandon my sin-stained Indian identity, only to embrace somebody else's sin-stained identity. My problem isn't with non-followers, like... I have nothing with them. It's more followers that are very persistent or over overbearing in a way to where like they push their faith onto other people or they just seem like they don't respect another person's life choice because it isn't the same as theirs. Because my dad is pastor and we are on the reservation, that means a lot of missions and missionaries, well, missionaries, came to our, our, our church, our community. Every year there would be a different group, and that really kind of devalued the, the purpose of the missions and because it would be a different group each year. Um, so you wouldn't be able to connect with them, or if you did, then that would be, that'd be the end of it. So in that way, mission missionaries can be very impersonal. I think that's kind of a mistake. Um, Long-term missions are the more viable solution where you can get involved in the culture, you can actually care about the people instead of just um, doing a bit of service work there, getting experience or going to some exotic location. There are certain things that, um, you know, missions and missionaries um, have done in the past and still kind of do today. Um, you know, as far as uh, Native Americans, the missions and missionaries uh, did strip Native Americans from their identity 
unfortunately, you know, it's uh, instead of doing it in a very, um, you know, uh, non-subtle way, you know, they went ahead and took uh, kids from their families and put them in, uh, you know, those type of missions and missionary schools. Um, but, you know, it's it's always good to see those missions and missionaries nowadays, you know, really advocating and um, really opening up their eyes um, as to that there's a different culture out there. Um, there's different peoples. Um, you know, the, the old missionaries, I think, and uh, type of people, they kind of just saw it as you have to be Christian, you have to be this type of God. And they really forced it down on you. Now, these ones nowadays, I believe, have a more of an open view um, and are a little bit more lenient on that fact. Um, and I do believe some of them do take advantage of uh, the situations that some people are in and, um, you know, express their religious views on them. Um, so, like, um, missions and missionaries going to Africa and stuff, if you're getting a a uh, person who is a Christian believer and really wants to put their views on other people, you go out and you can help these people, but then you're also putting your view, your religious views on them. Now that has, I think, an effect on somebody because um, you see somebody who is doing something very nice to you and, you know, you're, they're teaching you a good way of, you know, like, oh, there is help out there, but then they're also kind of slipping in I think kind of sneaky, um, you know, religious view. How do I perceive missionaries? Growing up on the reservation and hearing stories about it, especially from a Native American perspective, it kind of gives it a bad name. And I used to always think it like that as a negative way. Just white people trying to con force forcing Christianity on Native Americans, but. As I came to UNM, that term is used here a lot, and even the people I met through this church, um, they call themselves missionaries, and I, it really has changed my perspective. You know, the, those people aren't the same as the ones back then, and it's our choice. They. They don't push it on me, they don't force me, they really make you be a Christian on your own to give your own opinions because they understand what people go through. And I feel like what they're doing is really good. I, back home in my high school, I didn't feel like I was sort of safe to express my Christianity, mostly because it's a small school and there's a lot of Native Americans, but here there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who follow Christ and now I feel safe and...